This is the Nerf Rifle Pilot, the latest cute little Nerf blaster from Hasbro. And it's a blaster so powerful, it sounds like it's breaking every time you shoot it. Just Josh. It's powerful, but the Pilot has typical Nerf Rifle performance. But what if I told you it's a better shotgun blaster than the Forerunner? Because it is. Yup, it's better. You suck. This little blaster is basically a Nerf rival jolt. The standard that every blaster is held up to. Except it's break action and breech loaded. Oh, and it can do a pretty effective shotgun blast. Neither of these blasters are true shotguns. They're not designed to shoot a buckshot of foam or multiple rounds at once like shotguns usually do. But while the Forerunner has the look of a short barrel pistol grip shotgun, the Pilot has a much more impressive shotgun blast. Loading multiple rounds is quicker and easier. But the Pilot doesn't look anything like a shotgun, does it? No, it looks a lot more like the Nerf Rival Knockout. The very first Nerf Rival Jolt. Unless you count the Big Shot. The Knockout and the Pilot are around the same size and they both function similarly. Except the Knockout isn't break action. The Knockout loads much more like the Nerf Rival Fate, which saw the barrel extending forward to expose the breach. That's cool and all. But the Nerf Rifle Pilot is just a lot more fun to use than those other blasters. Break action is an absolute blast to use, and using the Pilot actually reminds me of the old Zombie Strike Sledgefire, which is a favorite of mine. Like I said before, the Pilot has average rifle performance, much in line with the other blasters in the Rival series. And like those blasters, it maintains good range and accuracy as well. I don't know if it's because of those little blue ball accurounds, but this blaster seemed pretty accurate and it hit at ranges of about 80 feet away. The railing there is 80 feet from where I'm standing, and I actually had to go down below and retrieve a handful of balls that shot over the railing. I was also able to pretty much put my balls where I wanted to and land shots on targets that were pretty far away, and that's impressive. As Coop would say, I didn't experience any jams or malfunctions when shooting the pilot, but when overloading it with three rounds, there was a time when it only shot two and the third round stayed in the barrel. I just reprimed it and the third ball shot out just fine. Similar results were observed when trying to triple load the Forerunner as well, so it's not unique to the pilot. That's why I say two balls is the sweet spot. I guess God knew what he was doing when he only gave us two. Another issue that I ran into was, since the priming rod sticks out so far and has a beefy handle, it would snag on my clothing a bit sometimes when raising the blaster to shoot. This isn't a huge issue and depends on what kind of clothing you're wearing, but if you raise the blaster with your arms a little further away from your body, it won't be an issue either way, but it's something to think about. At the bottom of the blaster, just under the trigger guard, you'll find the safety switch. When pushed forward, it deactivates the trigger and you can no longer push it to fire around. Unlike a lot of other Nerf Rival Blasters where the safety is a little hard to push and sticks a bit, the safety on a Nerf Rival Pilot is very smooth and easy to operate with only a single finger. Flicking it with my middle finger was actually pretty intuitive and fun because you can actually flip people off and pretend like you're just engaging the safety. Overall, shooting the Nerf Rival Pilot was highly enjoyable and slightly more engaging than other blasters with its brake barrel loading. And speaking of loading... <laughs> once you get the hang of the operation of this blaster, loading becomes a breeze. It's pretty simple and you'll be able to do it more and more quickly the more you do loading it. Loading one or even two or three rounds at a time will become second nature. Pull down the T-style priming rod on the bottom of the grip and once it's all the way down the barrel will break open leaving an exposed breech just ripe for the picking. I will enter you. Once loading is complete tilt the barrel up and push it in slightly. If you're a brute like me though, and you push it up hard enough, you won't have to worry about pushing it back in. It'll do it automatically. Out of fear. That's it, you're locked and loaded. And you can unleash a fury of blue balls at your ops. Step one, you catch eye, make sure you wet one. The Nerf Rival Pilot features pretty nice ABS sight with the orange front sight and the black rear sights that work effectively for aiming. And they should, 
because the pilot is part of the most accurate rival system or mars like i like to call it and that's the advanced precision battling system of rival blasters that come with those little blue ball accu rounds that are supposed to be more accurate the sights on this blaster are nice and clean but they aren't adjustable at all which is a huge departure from the other blasters in the series which all feature adjustable rear sights and that green tritium front sight on the back of the blaster is a lanyard mount that's meant to attach a tactical pistol lanyard in case you're a nerfer with butterfingers. <laughs> it also highly resembles a hammer that you'd find on some real steel pistols and that's pretty cool. The trigger is comfortable and nice and smooth and the front of it is pretty thick but not as thick as that grip. Damn boy he's thick boy! Yup. The Nerf Rival Pilot has a thick ass pistol grip and there's no taper to it either. It's thick all the way up starting from the bottom of the grip. That bottom girl, you make a world go round. Speaking of the bottom of the grip, that's where you'll find the T-style priming rod that I spoke about earlier and it's used for, you guessed it, priming the blaster. The size of the priming rod handle is pretty beefy itself and makes priming the blaster much more efficient. You're never gonna miss that grip. So the Nerf Rifle Pilot is a fun little blaster with a thick grip and a brake action that makes shooting it highly enjoyable. The brake barrel action of the Pilot makes shotgun loading very quick and easy to do. Unlike with similar blasters like the Knockout or even blasters that resemble actual shotguns like the Forerunner. Overall the Pilot is a blast and if you like what you've seen here I say go for it. The Nerf Rifle Pilot is pretty fairly priced and I think it's well worth the purchase. If you're interested, purchase links will be down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And that is where today's video ends. If you made it to this point, let me know your thoughts on the Nerf Rival Pilot Blaster down below. Have you modded it yet? I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. It'll help out tremendously. If you didn't like it though, press F5 on your keyboard and watch the video again. Maybe you'll like it better the second time around. And I know I kept referencing the Forerunner and how the Pilot is a better shotgun blaster than it, but the Forerunner is not a bad blaster at all. It does do some things better than the Pilot, so click on the video here to see the full Nerf Rival Forerunner review. With that said, my name's Blee, you just been tagged out. I love your foam heads and I'll see you in the next one.